Uh oh, Deborah's gone shopping again. <gasps> Hi, this is Deborah, also known as Doomage42. Welcome back to Tuesday Reviews. Just a couple of things today because I went bargain shopping because I am a bargain shopper. Mm hmm. Went to a place called Rugged Warehouse, which a lot of you may know about. I'll link to their site down below. Um, you find some interesting stuff there, always a good mix. And I picked up a couple of things that I wanted to try out. First thing, What's this? These are miraculous moisturizing hand gloves. Yeah, a little bit of maybe hyperbole there. They're not miraculous. They are moisturizing though. Um, I decided to try them out. This says with cocoa butter and vitamin E and it's in, um, I think French as well. I don't read French, so I don't know. And there are simple, simple directions basically you wash your hands with warm water, you put the glove on, and you wait 20 minutes. That's it. So I figured, okay, I can handle that. And the price, this was uh, four bucks, and you get two sets of them, so I will be doing it again. Just so you know, it comes in this little sealed package inside the box. You rip it open. Obviously, I did this one yesterday, so I saved the package so you could see it. And inside, you have two gloves. Okay, here's one of them. Pro tip, get it open before you try to attempt to put both of them on because it kind of stuck, you had to pull it apart. And basically it's sort of a paper-ish glove and the inside was completely loaded up with a very nice scented lotion. Very moisturizing and it even was big enough for my hand, barely. Now y'all know I have got ginormous hands, okay? Boom, ginormous hands of doom. Um, this fit my hands and even fit my nails because I've got long nails right now. Got it all the way in there. I put them both on and I laid down for a couple of minutes. I figured, you know what? You can't really operate the phone because you know, you're covered up with this stuff. Instead of 20 minutes, it ended up staying on about an hour and a half because I fell asleep. Yeah, but I woke up and I went, oh, okay, I guess I should go take these off now. You don't have to wash your hands afterwards. Um, you can just wipe off the excess because there will be excess on your hands. But I ended up washing my hands a little bit because I felt that the extra moisturizer felt a little sticky after sitting for so long. Could be just me. Could be the fact that I left it on for that long. Is it kind of fun to do? Easy to do? Yes. Is it really worth spending the extra money on? Probably not. I figured that I could find the hand lotion that I really like, put it in a gallon plastic baggie, and wrap a warm washcloth around it and just let it sit for five or six minutes, just like they do at the uh, nail salon. Hmm. Um, it's kind of fun though. You want to give somebody a gift to treat themselves or whatever. It's a nice inexpensive kind of gift and you get to do it twice. Did it leave my hands miraculously moisturized? Not exactly. They felt nice and soft from the lotion, but no softer than when I actually remember to use lotion on my hands. I know that's something I forget a lot, especially someone who talks with their hands a lot really needs to take care of them. Mm. But kind of a fun thing and an expensive thing to try. And I bet it looked really amusing, me sitting there laying in bed with my hands all wrapped up and I just kind of had them sitting on my belly like this when I was laying down. No mess, no muss, no fuss. Easy to do. Yeah, it'll do. The other thing that I bought at Rugged Warehouse, not nearly as happy with y'all, has nothing to do with Rugged Warehouse. Trust me on that. I saw they had some makeup stuff there, so of course I'm gonna go pick some up. Hello. But one of the things they had were some Paris Hilton metallic lip glosses. Now y'all know me and lipstick. I love it. I have way too much. So I had to pick this up. It was only about three bucks. I figured, no, you know, I can toss away three bucks if it's awful. It was in a little box that was really cute that I've since thrown away because I threw it away. But I took it out and I was kind of disappointed right away. First off, that is some cheap ass chintzy plastic. I am not opposed to plastic, don't get me wrong, but there are different grades and different feels of plastic. This ain't the good stuff, okay? Listen, you can even hear when you turn it. 
pull it open, I think, okay, that's a little promising, right? Has sort of a, almost a nail polish type scent, which is not very pleasant. It's not as strong as a nail polish, but you do get that, you know, oh, day nail polish. Yeah, bad French accent. Um, let's do swatchies. Eh. Now I am just loaded up with it right there. It doesn't have much effect on the hand, but that's okay. I thought, well, maybe, maybe it'll be all right. I'm barely touching it and it just moves all over the place. I did try to wear it on my lips yesterday on top of a leather lipstick, just a little coat, because that's what it says to do in the directions. Put some in the middle for a sophisticated glowy look, whatever. And it was absolutely not noticeable. All that was left was a little bit of glittery shimmer. That's it. No pink whatsoever. I'll probably try it a few more times, give it a chance. No, not over today's unicorn. Not happening. But all in all, I just wasn't impressed with this. And besides that, you know, the, uh, the gorilla snot on the back. Yes, that's what I've known to be called. The stuff that sticks it to the package. I can't get it off. This stuff is so stuck. It just won't come off completely. I can, ugh, and there's still more there. It's like residue city. Eh, I don't blame Paris Hilton herself. I mean, but it does have her name on it. You would think that she would want to do some quality control on products with her name on it. Just saying. Now, if you are looking for a good place to find a bargain on like clothing and shoes and handbags and sometimes makeup and accessories like socks and belts and stuff, check out Rugged Warehouse. They have an assortment of things and um, it can be kind of fun to look around and see what you can find. I've even found some awesome plus size stuff there, which I know is rare. I bought a dress. I am not going to wear it yet because it is totally a fall dress. So, but it will be coming soon. Stick around. I have more on my channel. Woo! More reviews up here. Subscribe down here, please, if you haven't already. Please hit the like button before you go. And uh, see you next time.